Hi, and welcome to Dark Prince of Wars Parallax Side-Scrolling Starfield. I shall be using several technologies that I don't usually use in my programs, including arrays, data types, and... Um, uh, that's about it, really. So, arrays and data types. If you don't understand what arrays and data types are and you find all this code rather confusing, then I recommend you go and get Dark Principles uh, Professional Foundation. It's a tutorial DVD kit, consists of about 7.5 hours, and it will teach you everything you need to know about variables and data types and arrays. So, uh, now we're going to start off our program with star amount equals 1000 so we want 1000 stars on our screen x res equals 800 and y res equals uh, 600 so this is going to be our screen resolution and now we're going to set up our type so type star field and we're going to set up x y and speed. Now these are all integers so I don't need to type in what type of variables they are. End type. And now we're going to set up our array as well. So we're going to type in dim stars, open bracket, star amount, close bracket as star field. So all the data in here has now been assigned to our array. And now we're going to set up our program environment. And we're going to do this by first setting the screen resolution. So set display mode, X res, Y res by 32. So if you wish to increase the resolution or decrease or adjust it to anything you want, just adjust these values up here and that will control the entire program. And we're going to type in sync on sync rate. 60 we're going to forego the backdrop on and the um, the color backdrop because that's not necessary for this program and now we have our array we need to populate it with some data so for oops fox <laughs> for x equals one or two star amount and then we're going to set up a random position for the stars along the x axis. So stars.x equals rnd open bracket x res close bracket. And we're going to do the same thing for stars open bracket y close bracket dot y. And I do apologize, it's dot x, quite easy to confuse in your own mind. And uh, of course, these are little, so you need to watch your syntax when you're typing these out, otherwise, you're going to have problems. Um, equals rnd y res so we're basically selecting a random number within these two ranges up here and next we're going to set the speed of the stars as well so stars um, open bracket dot x sorry open bracket x close bracket dot speed equals rnd open bracket five close bracket add one. The reason I'm adding the one is because we never wanted to return a value of zero because the star would never move. We want it to be a minimum of one and because random would go between zero and five we're going to assume that it never lands on zero and its maximum is six. And now we've actually got our data set up we're going to type in next x and that will populate our array. Uh, next we're going to type in do sync and loop which we're all familiar with by now and we're going to type in a new loop so for x equals one to star amount and we're going to increase the x positional data on each star and by the speed value we set so we're going to type in ink stars open bracket x close bracket dot x and we're going to increase it by stars, open bracket x, close bracket dot speed. So uh, this value here is now being applied to uh, the number of pixels that this um, star will now jump. And uh, we're going to, because we don't want to create an endless uh, stream of stars that eats up computer memory, we want to instead reuse the stars we're already using. So we're going to type in an if statement. So if... 
stars open bracket x close bracket dot x is greater than x res so if it goes off the edge of the screen then we want to reset our starred positional data so stars open bracket x dot so open bracket x close bracket dot x quite difficult to say where you're uh, typing at the same time equals zero so that resets the uh, the data position and stars open bracket x close bracket dot y equals rand y res and basically because we don't want a repeating pattern on the screen um, this will then prevent that and it will look like a new star is coming into the field and we're going to end if there and next we're going to set the color of our stars the closer sorry the faster the, the star is the closer it is to you therefore the brighter it should be and uh, the duller it is the further away it is this creates a 3d view that tricks the eyes into a sense of depth and we're going to do this with the ink command and we're going to type in rgb red green blue and 50 times stars dot open bracket x close bracket dot speed and that's it so the higher the speed is the brighter the color is and we're going to repeat that three times because it's a black and white program and we're going to put a comma after that and zero and next we're actually going to draw our stars at last so dot and we're going to use a dot command for this um, dot stars open bracket x close bracket dot x comma stars open bracket y close bracket dot y and i keep doing that it should be x dot y there we go and then we need to um, next x so we are uh, completing our loop and we need to then type in Oh, I do apologize. I've forgotten one command at the beginning of the program, which is CLS. This will prevent the screen from blurring. So now we're going to compile the program and hopefully I haven't made a horrific mistake. And there we go. So we now have a, um, a star field parallax. So you've got slow moving stars and you've got fast moving stars. And you've uh, got different colors, so you've got a sense of depth. That's moving a bit fast, really. So uh, I will just reduce the sync rate to 30. And we shall increase the stars to 2,000. Just show you how that easy, easy it is. And we're going to increase the resolution by uh, 1,024 and by uh, 768. And we're going to run the program again now. So there we go, we've got uh, uh, more stars, uh, so you get a, a better idea of the sense of depth and it's a bit slower moving. So you can reduce and increase the number of stars on screen very easily just by adjusting this value, put it down to 500. And uh, you can instantly control what your star field looks like so this is ideal for side scrolling games of any kind or even just a simple screensaver i'm sure uh, your creative minds will put this code to good use so this is a basic program for parallaxing side scrolling star fields so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial